Idea space. The final frontier. Amy, let's pick up where we left off in the last part. We last left off in discussing the white pearl PRN tag. For each or any white pearl, one has a wide range of display options on how these tags can be displayed to any model viewer. MV. For example, the MV can have just the latest tier PRN displayed. Alternatively, the MV can have the entire stack of tier PRNs displayed, as a stack, with the latest on the top of the stack, and the oldest on the bottom. Here one can see a stack of two tier PRNs for that white pearl, named, owning WP. Or, the MV, model viewer, can add to any PRN, or PRN stack, already shown, any other types of PRN tags, such as here. The time of white pearl first creation, showing that this white pearl was first created at 10.20 a.m. Make that 10.30. And here, the date of the white pearl's first creation, is added as well. And here, all the PRN types, are displayed. And here, none of them are displayed, which will typically be the case, most of the time, for most MVs. For another basic tenet of UniML is to be able to reduce display clutter by hiding what the MV does not at that moment care to see, but, also, making it easy and quick to unhide symbols and such, as needed, typically by right-clicking on the owning symbol, which, in this case, would be their owning white pearl, and then selecting from a, context-sensitive menu, which in turn may show the symbols as well as their names the items to be unhidden. Also one can apply this to not just a particular owning symbol but to all of its type as well, such as showing the PRNs for all white pearls and not just any specific one. Wow, that was a bit complicated. I'm wondering why then you didn't use specific graphics since you could create graphics uh, being chat GPT six or seven but instead you used generic graphics so i'm wondering why is that okay i suppose that is a fair enough question to ask here albeit in asking it here you are of sorts interrupting the flow of my planned narrative well sorry about that didn't mean to do that that's all right i guess so this diagram shows the typical engineering design process and its various stages. And essentially, at the present, we are here in these two stages, where for portals, we are still, for sure, in the conceptual design phase, while for UniML we are a bit further along and as such one might say we are now, mostly, in the preliminary design phase. But we are not at the detailed design phase. As such I cannot show displays that are yet to be designed. Well I guess that makes sense. So let me resume. Here, we look at adding a second white pearl. And let's give them both the same name, owning WP, where, by the way, WP stands for white pearl. But even though they have the same name, they are two distinctly different white pearls, in that each have their own distinct PRNs, and are thus located at different points along the string, which constitute the actual namespace, and not the names in the name bubbles. For even though some of the fields in the composite PRN are the same, such as the author and the date, as shown in this figure, by the two blue arrows, the other fields are not the same, as shown by the red arrows, in that each have a different time of creation, a different randomly created number, and, lastly, a different dear PRN, reflecting that they each have a different location on the string, and thus are two distinct entities albeit they both happen to have the same name. Yes, I get it. It's like two people might have the same names, but they're still different people. Exactly. And I would normally end here, but then you did get me off my original plan, but let me instead continue for a bit longer, in that a detailed example here might be helpful, and that this is a key property of UniML, that being, this notion of the distinctness of white pearls regardless of any name that one might want to call them, and as such, perhaps, rightly justifies spending a bit more time on this to assure any viewer not only gets it, but also, retains that it, as well.
but to, properly, show this example, and not just use what you call generic graphics. And we British do value doing things properly, I will also need to introduce some additional UniML constructs, ones I might add, I was not planning to introduce yet, but now think that I must. So let me now introduce, this new, and quite important, UniML construct, the swim lane island, or SLI, which is pronounced as, SLI. Now, the swim lane island, but let me just start calling it, the SLI from here on out. For short, has some of its own constructs, such as two docks, which are drawn as small diamonds, one on the top of the SLI, and the other on the bottom, but both on the swim lane of the white pearl that owns the SLI, in that swim lane islands, like most other UniML constructs, have their own, unique, white pearl owners. Here, as one can now see in the diagram, a third white pearl, named, problems, has been added to the string serving as the owners of the two swim lane islands, and I might note here, a white pearl can own any number of swim lane islands, or none, and if it owns more than one, that is called an archipelago. Cool! But haven't we seen these docks before? Yes, you are quite right, but, once again, you're getting me even further off my original plan for this video, but yes, we have seen these before as subcomponents of waterfront properties, where they serve the same function. Ah, I got it. But at the risk of getting you further off your plan... Never mind. My original plan is now in a bit of shambles anyway. <laughs> Sorry about that. But just how is a swim lane island slot all that different from a waterfront property? That is an excellent question, even if any discussion on that, I had, originally, planned to defer to some later time, and while, these two, swim lane islands, and waterfront properties, do, in fact, have many similar properties, such as they both have docks, and name fields, though those are optional for the waterfront properties, they also have their differences as well. For example slides have underpasses, though let me defer discussing what those are for later. But waterfront properties do not. But, most importantly, waterfront properties can only contain UniML, recognizable, constructs, that is constructs that will be common and thus knowable to any and all UniML models, where in contrast, slides can contain anything even things that UniML might not even recognize without being so instructed. And now that the prospect of keeping this video short is totally out the window, let me also introduce here what is called, the bookmark, which, in addition to other functions, can provide that mechanism which then can instruct UniML. As to what those things are in the sly, which otherwise, it would have no idea of what they are, thus, serving as a gateway from things inside UniML, with things outside it, that is the world at large. And each white pearl can have one or more, or none at all, bookmarks, where they can link to different things. For example here, while both white pearls are named X, one can see, via their bookmarks, that their axis refers to different X's in different equations. I got it. And on that note, let me end, this rather long, part 7 here. With the normal references to links being in the description, box. And we had three improvs, by Ron, serving as background music for this video, albeit, and not at all to my liking, maybe, a bit too loud at times, with the first named, improv for crystal flute, lap harp, bells, and drums, the second named, a bit belated 2023 New Year's Eve improv, and the third, named, classical jazz. And thanks again, for the presentation. You're quite welcome. And that is all, for part 7.